Anyways, so there you go. There's an entire uh, area just completely composed of uh, volcanic glass and pumice. Here's the pumice. This weighs about, I don't know, maybe a pound, half a pound. Pretty big rock for uh, what it weighs, which is almost nothing. It's because it's mostly gas inside. It's a pretty wild landscape. We're up at about, I don't know, 6,500 feet. Surrounding forest is mostly, uh, I believe it's mostly red fir, Abies magnifica. Then you got some uh, white pine, Pinus monticola. And uh, we're high enough up, you, know, you get some uh, Suga mertensiana too, the uh, mountain hemlock. You know, just your general uh, high altitude coniferous shit. Okay, so you've been seeing pumice mostly, and then now up there's a real banger that's uh, just pure volcanic glass. That's what you would call weapons grade obsidian. You know, some obsidian is rather chunky. Looks like the snowflake obsidian. It's not. Uh, it's not too nice to uh, to carve. It's rather chunky and it doesn't get that sharp. This stuff gets very sharp and very painful. I came here a couple years ago, sliced my goddamn hand open. Looked kind of nice though, you know, there was blood everywhere. And then uh, look at the nice striations in it. Very beautiful rack. You go over to the Warner Mountains over there, you get some mahogany obsidian. It's basically a, just a beautiful red luster to it. And of course, uh, here in mid-July, there's still snow down there because uh, we're so goddamn high. That whole mountain is volcanic glass. And uh, again, the trees, uh, you get lodgepole pine too, Pinus contorta. Though I believe this is uh, Pinus monticola, western white pine. Very uh, surreal goddamn landscape here in a volcanic legacy. It appears some jackass uh, carved his name into it. But uh, then there's a little drops of blood over there too, so that makes me feel better. It looks like he uh, looks like he cut himself too. <laughs> what an asshole! Comes up here and feels they gotta write their fucking name on or something. I just don't get it. The fuck's wrong with people, huh? So of course, obviously, since this is volcanic glass, it's very high silica content. Even uh, the pumice. The pumice is. Basically the same as the obsidian, it just has gas in it, and it's uh, much less dense. But same thing's going on. Uh, it cooled very slowly, so much so that no crystal structure could form. That's what glass is. Look at this, though. This uh, algae growing uh, on top of this uh, snow, that pink color. You'll see that a lot sometimes. I forget the name of the species of uh, algae it is, but it's basically uh, worldwide, especially in higher altitude environments. It's uh, an algae that uh, just, you know, grows on the top of the snow, photosynthesizes and causes that uh, that red tint. Jesus Christ, look at that. This thing weighs nothing. It's a giant boulder. Probably taps out of 15 pounds. That's it. Because it's all gas. But really get up in there and look at what's going on. You can see all the little silica fibers. It looks like foam. So there you go, there's Abies Magnifica. Red for a pretty high altitude uh, tree right there, you know? And again, it's just putting out new buds here in mid-July. Oh shit. It's just putting out new buds here in mid-July. And uh, you know, the growing season will be over in about two or three months. It'll be too, uh, it'll be too cold up there. It'll be getting snow probably October, November. This shit's going on there. Look at this, this vesicular. It's like vesicular glass inside a larger matrix of, uh, uh, I don't know, a melange of a bunch of volcanic shit. I don't know. There's obsidian chunks and everything. Really wild landscape. But you could see this is this flow is a little bit older. There's actually a soil here. Enough so that, uh, you know, you can get some more conifers like these western white pines. Another five-needled pine to be growing. Pinus monticola. And then I've seen, I wanted to show you one of those goddamn uh, mountain hemlocks too, but I don't know where they went. Oh, there you go. There's one right there. These you only get really high up. Looks like a little gnome. You have to show it up to, up to you up, uh, up close. So th this is a very common tree throughout the central and uh, eastern Oregon, being at most of its high altitude uh, volcanic, you know, most mostly above five, 6,000 feet. Got the same kind of habitat as here. You know, Pinus contorta. Uh, red fur, 
Suga Mertensiana, the, the mountain hemlock. Pretty interesting tree. The growing season here is so slow, this guy's probably 20 or 30 years old, at least. At least. And he's just topping out above me. Barely, barely hitting eight feet. Oh, the moon looks nice. Look at it. In this bastard right here, this is called lodgepole pine, Pinus contorta. It's got two needles, two needles per fascicle, which is something, you know, a big thing you want to look at when you're trying to figure out what the hell kind of pine you're looking at. You know, of course, cones as well, but you don't always have cones within arm's reach. This guy's also just popping out. Look at that candle. That's what you call it when they got a bunch of new, uh, new little fascicles coming out of pine, but you call it a candle. Possibly have some uh, Pinus albicollis, too, white bark pine over here. I don't know, got to got to So look at it. Look, it, it looks like snow, but it's actually just pure silica particles. It's decomposing pumice, and all this stuff sticks in your fingers afterwards. And uh, itches like, will you shut up? It sticks in your fingers and, uh, you know, itches like hell after. It's basically fiberglass. It's little fiberglass powder. <laughs> anyway, there's, uh, you know, on the edge of this uh, obsidian floor, there's more of the... Uh, uh, Western white pine, Pinus uh, contorta, the red fern with the shit. All the high altitude coniferous shit. You get some, uh, you know, uh, uh, Chrysolopus sempervirens. And then, of course, here's the edge of this uh, obsidian flow, which if you look at from, uh, you know, a satellite view, up on Google satellite view, view, you could really see, you know, I mean, it's it just looks like a bunch of, uh, you know, boulders and rocky bullshit right now. But if you look at it from the sky on satellite view, you could really tell. Uh, it's it's basically liquid or it was it's got that just the drastic liquid uh, Shape to it, you know, you can even see ripples in it. I mean it looks like a, a puddle of syrup. It's pretty fucking remarkable And again not much growing here except uh, some of these western white pines that dwarf pence them in uh, some hollow discus that's in the rose family Ocean spray, etc. And then, of course, shooting down east, you can look into a lava beds national monument and uh, you can see it just tails off right there. So, we are on a plateau, we're on a volcanic plateau, volcanic islands at about 6,500 feet. Beautiful sunset, and uh, there, right up there, that mountain is the actual uh, source of. All the obsidian and if you look on a map you could see everything flowing uh, to the east it's really one of the weirdest things i've ever come across at least geologically just a massive flow of high silica magma uh, most of it cooling far too fast to have any crystal structure whatsoever so it just looks like uh you know you get the pumice if it's got gas in it and uh you get little chunks of volcanic glass here in there too Okay, just before sunset, one last uh, nice banger for you. Uh, this uh, got uh, this plant uh, coming out of straight pumice talus. It's got the velvety leaves and a uh, segmented stems. This is a Conagon davisiae, Polygonaceae, buckwheat family. Yeah, it looks like a Polygonaceae. I don't with those tiny ass leaves. Get the fuck out of here, mosquitoes, bastards. Just uh, haven't seen this in a couple years. But I remember, the same time, I, same thing. Well, last time I saw it, two or three years ago, coming out of straight pumice in high elevation coniferous forest there at about 65, maybe 7,000 feet. Abies Magnifica, red fur. You could tell it because they got the cones. Get up there, they got a real particular branch structure, and then, of course, they got cones that sit erect on those branches. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Go fuck yourself. Bye.